What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am outside of Epic Universe, Universal Orlando's newest theme park opening in 2025. And in today's video, I'm going to be going into detail about every single ride coming to Epic Universe when it opens next year. Epic Universe is Universal Orlando Resort's highly anticipated new theme park. It promises to be a groundbreaking addition to the resort, featuring immersive lands inspired by a variety of popular franchises, rich storytelling, and cutting-edge attractions. Celestial Park is the cosmic heart of Universal Epic Universe, acting as the hub for the park, connecting you to all of the other lands. Inside of the land, there will be two different rides, Stardust Racers and Constellation Carousel. On Constellation Carousel, you'll be able to climb aboard this imaginative carousel where the cosmic energy of the universe enables guests to ride the constellations themselves. Guest carriages are going to include celestial lions, dragons, peacocks, and more. Each carriage will also be able to turn 360 degrees while lifting riders up six feet in the air. It is also going to be one of the few rides inside of the park that does not have a height requirement. Now over to the main attraction inside of Celestial Park, Stardust Racers. This is going to be a breathtaking dual launch coaster reaching speeds up to 62 miles per hour. Board a comet and a rocket to the furthest reaches of the stars and heights up to 133 feet along 5,000 feet of track. You will also be able to race along an inverted crisscross known as the Celestial Spin. And for more on that, the ride guys at Universal Orlando went and checked out Stardust Racers. So let's take a look. Hey, I'm Dylan. And I'm Mike. And we're the Ride Guys. Now, you may be wondering why we're standing here in construction gear. And no, it's not because we're making the 2025 Ride Guys calendar. It's actually because we're getting an exclusive Ride Guys first look at the brand new Universal Epic Universe. Oh, yeah. We are going behind the scenes of Stardust Racers, which promises to be the most exciting coaster in the park. 360 immersive experience such as what our Celestial Spin offers. Okay, good. That, that's that's the one I need to know more of about. Of course, that's what I want to answer. Tell me about the Celestial okay. Spin. That is <laughs> absolutely one of the most exciting things about Stardust Racers is Celestial Spin, which is, you know, you can kind of see like right there. Oh, I think that, that works right there. So what Celestial Spin is, is it's coming out of launch two. As you know, it's a, it's a racing coaster. So there's two ride vehicles that are competing against each other. As you come out of launch two, you come into the Celestial Spin. And what that allows the guests to experience is guests in one ride vehicle will be looking up. The other ride vehicle inverts over the top of you. So they're looking down, you're looking up, and then milliseconds later, you reverse. That sounds like It's really, really cool. So I have a feeling Stardust Racers is going to easily be one of the best coasters in Orlando. Now that we are done discussing the two rides inside of Celestial Park, let's head over to the Isle of Burke. This land is themed to How to Train Your Dragon, where you're going to be able to discover an island where Vikings and fire-breathing dragons exist together in harmony. And inside of this land, there are going to be three different rides. The first one I'm going to talk about is the family launch coaster, Hiccup's Wing Gliders. This is where you're going to be able to get a dragon's eye view of Hiccup's latest flying contraption, sending you swooping and soaring above and around the Isle of Burke. Based off the concept art, this coaster is going to be so much fun as you will be going all around the Isle of Burke, weaving in and out through the land. I seriously cannot wait to ride Hiccup's Wing Gliders. Moving over to the next ride in the Isle of Burke, this is going to be Dragon Racers Rally. At Dragon Racers Rally, Burke's new Vikings can practice aerobatic maneuvers and high-speed barrel rolls on a Viking-made dragon riding trainer. Guests will actually be able to choose if they want to flip or not on this ride, by utilizing the paddles on the ride vehicle. So you get to choose if you want to flip while you're moving around on Dragon Racers Rally or just sit still for a smooth ride. I can tell you right now, I am definitely going to be trying to flip myself over and over and over again on this ride. And the last ride inside of the Isle of Burke is going to be Fire Drill. This is where you're going to be able to board your ship in Fire Drill and blast your water cannons at flame-like targets and occupants of every other boat to outsoak other Vikings. You may finish your boat cruise as a full-fledged Viking firefighter, or you may end up wet behind the ears and everywhere else. This ride looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for the whole family, especially with there being no minimum height requirement to get on fire drill. This will also be a great way to cool off in the Florida heat. Well, that is gonna be it for all the rides inside of How to Train Your Dragon, The Isle of Burke. It is time to move over to Super Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World is easily going to be one of the most popular lands inside of Epic Universe, and inside of this land, there will also be three different rides. Now, Super Nintendo World is going to be a little bit different here in Orlando than it is over at Universal Studios Hollywood, as there will be three different attractions, as well as the addition of Donkey Kong Country. Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge is going to allow guests to ride through iconic courses, 
throw shells and collect digital coins to beat Team Bowser. On the ride, guests are gonna be given a pair of AR glasses. Also ending with multiple outcomes, it is going to be a different experience every time you ride. The next ride in Super Nintendo World is going to be Yoshi's Adventure. This is a family-friendly attraction where you're going to be able to take a ride with the Yoshis searching for the glowing eggs. You're gonna be able to weave your way through the iconic Mushroom Kingdom landscapes, where there's going to be some amazing views of Super Nintendo World. And last but certainly not least, the third ride inside of Super Nintendo World at Donkey Kong Country is going to be Minecart Madness. This coaster is going to have guests enter the majestic Golden Temple and board a minecart. They're going to be speeding through the mine and appear to jump across gaps in the track and also perform other eye-popping features from the Donkey Kong Country video games. Minecart Madness is easily one of the top rides I am most looking forward to at Epic Universe. Here are some aerial photos of the current construction going on with Minecart Madness from BioReconstruct on Twitter. I cannot wait to be there on opening day and see it all finished. From Super Nintendo, land over to the land I'm looking forward to the most, Dark Universe. This land is going to be based off the legendary Universal Classic Monsters, where they are going to come to life like never before. From the experiments of Victoria Frankenstein to a twisted landscape where monsters roam, Dark Universe is a grim world of myth and mystery. And inside of this land, it is going to feature two attractions, Monsters Unchained, The Frankenstein Experiment, and The Curse of the Werewolf Roller Coaster. The Curse of the Werewolf Coaster is a family spinning roller coaster that is going to send you spinning and weaving through the forest as you attempt to escape a pack of werewolves. This coaster is going to send guests launching forwards and backwards, running into different werewolves, as well as the leader of the Guild of Mystics. And here are some aerial construction photos of the current look for the Curse of the Werewolf coaster from BioReconstruct on Twitter. Now heading over to Monsters Unchained, the Frankenstein Experiment. This is going to be the dark ride inside of Dark Universe, and it's going to be similar to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey over in Islands of Adventure. On this ride, Dr. Victoria Frankenstein continues the work of her ancestors deep below the family estate. A demonstration of her experiments to control monsters goes awry when Dracula leads a revolt of enraged monsters, including the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and more. Universal stated this is going to be one of the scariest rides they have ever made and also by the looks of the video they released on this ride we can also see a glimpse and a Wolfman animatronic that will be inside of Monsters Unchained. Moving on to the final land at Epic Universe and the last ride that will be coming to the park, heading over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. There will only be one ride inside of this land and that is going to be Harry Potter and the Battle of the Ministry. Guests are going to travel by Metro Flu from Paris to the British Ministry of Magic where Dolores Umbridge is about to stand trial. You will board a lift and join Harry, Ron, and Hermione as you journey deep into the Ministry many departments. As far as the ride vehicle, it is going to be an omnidirectional lift. You're going to be able to move up, down, left, right, backwards, and forwards. I feel like this ride could easily be the best ride inside of Epic Universe as a whole. I mean, let's just look at the queue right here. It looks like it was taken right out of the movie. Guests are also going to be able to travel by Metro Flu from Paris to the British Ministry of Magic. And also we got a glimpse at one of the Death Eaters that's going to be an animatronic inside of Harry Potter and the Battle at the Ministry. Now that is going to wrap it up for every single ride coming to Universal Orlando's newest theme park, Epic Universe in 2025. Now my question to you is which ride are you most excited for at Epic Universe? Make sure to let me know down below in the comments. As we get closer and closer to the opening date of Epic Universe, I will be posting more and more about this amazing theme park coming to Universal Orlando as we get more information on it. And if you did enjoy learning about every single ride coming to Epic Universe, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.